This is a house? This is a house. What a waste. <laughs> you see, this is what causes peasants to revolt. This is how heads end up on pikes. Open with that. That's a great icebreaker. Now listen, I want you to be careful about your consumption of booze. I'm not gonna drink too much. No, 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 you got it backwards there, Pablo. Ride the pink elephant, baby, because it's your only defense against Emily Gilmore unless you're packing a Kalashnikov. Yeah, shouldn't you ring the bell or something? Not a little strategy. strategy. Here's the front door. We're here, drink carts here. It's knock, knock, uh, open the door. Hi, hi, turn left, veer right, pass the couch, we're at the booze. Any questions? Uh, yeah, shouldn't you get a massage or something? Oh. Take off your coat. It's cold. No, it's time consuming. Roll it in a ball and have it ready to hand off to the maid. Yeah. Hi. Hello. Hi. Come in, please. Oh, thank you. I'm sorry. Can I take your coat? Yeah, I got mine already. Okay. There you go. Mm -hmm. yeah. <clears throat> I'm Luke. I'm the maid. Yeah, nice to meet you. Well, that was so sweet and innocent. Well, well, our honored guest, welcome. Mom, Luke, Luke, Mom. We've met Lorelei several times. Well, I was just reintroducing you as per your instructions. Good to see you again, Mrs. Gilmore. Ah, no, it's Emily, I insist. Nice to see you, Emily. Drinks? We're in the foyer. Let's change that. Not if Luke wants a tour. Oh, okay, well, foyer, staircase, upstairs, dining room, kitchen, weird piano area that we never really named, and right through here is the living room. <laughs> yeah, I... I... I don't need a tour, thanks. Well then, let's go in the living room. Your house is beautiful. They don't make them like this anymore. I'll say. They make everything out of cardboard now. White boxes with heating vents. Yeah, the art of craftsmanship is dead. Jen, do you have Tourette's or something? I'm sorry, I thought I heard you say, what would you like to drink? I was getting there. Gin martini, please. I already made a pitcher of martinis, but they're vodka. Oh, vodka's perfect, double with a twist. So, two cold martinis with a twist, and Luke, how would you like a beer? Great. Or maybe Luke would like to choose his own drink. That's a thought. Oh, yes, I'm sorry, Luke. You can have whatever you like. I've got it all. Beer is perfect. Beer it is. I don't know. She's got everything. She's got scotch. She's got rum. She's got uh, whiskey. She's got red wine. She's not kidding. She's got it all. Beer is perfect. OK, bring him a beer. Here we are. Thank you. Thank you, Emily. The beer is nice and cold. I almost want one myself. Uh, hey, you can have some of mine if you want. So, how's that diner of yours? Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Uh, it's doing great, no matter what the economic climate. People got to eat. That is so true. And I thought your place was very charming, nice and rustic. <clears throat> Do you need a cough drop? She's fine. Where'd your martini go? To a happy place. Do you want another? Does Pavarotti want another donut? That's a yes. I'll pour it, Emily. <sighs> Thank you, Luke. I should go check on dinner. Will you excuse me? Absolutely. Unbelievable. I know, she didn't make nearly enough. I meant you, you're acting crazy. She's insulting you. Oh, no, she's not, your mom's being great. What, were you in the room? Did you not hear the awful things she said? What did she say? Rustic diner, rustic? So? Backhand slang for crap pile. Or she was admiring its vintage feel. Oh, what was the other word she used? Charming? Ah, oh, slang for doggy poopy. <sighs> Unbelievable. Wait, wait, what was the beer thing? What, oh my God. That was nice. I wanted beer. She was considerate enough to anticipate that that might be the case. The word beer, backhand slang for nitwit juice. You're reading way too much into this. Excuse me, but I would defer to the Gilmore expert here. I am the oracle. I carry all the knowledge. Well, I would like you to calm down because you're making me nervous. I'm trying to protect you. I'm a grown man, and this isn't my first foray into the big city. I've dealt with all types of people in my life. Rich, poor, snobby, proud, I can handle it. But and by you jumping in after everything your mother says makes me look weak, and I don't want to look weak. I don't want you to either. Well, then give me my space, OK? Please. OK, I'll give you your space. Dinner is going to be as good as it smells, I guarantee it. It smells wonderful, Emily. Thank you, Luke. It's nice to have a kind gentleman in the house. Mm. Thank you. So, you're recently divorced? Uh, yeah, I, I guess, uh, although it depends on what you call recently. In the last year, you've been divorced in the last year, that would be recent. Uh, yeah, yes. Terrible, the divorce rate, isn't it? Yeah, yes, it's, it's terrible. I'm sure it was inevitable in your case. Turned out that way? I hope there weren't children. No. Divorce destroys children. But without children, you're only harming yourself. Of course, nowadays, people get married for fun. Apparently, there's nothing good on TV. 